Hey guys, Norm here. Just uh, thought I'd do an unboxing here. My Red Dragon um, 16400 DPI mouse died a few days ago, and I figured um, it lasted me a couple years. Um, but it's time to try something else. This uh, mouse definitely has some quirks, and I'm not opposed to a new one. And now that it's dead, it uh, powers on, it's detected, but um, you can't use it at all. It doesn't detect any uh, mouse movement. So I've been using my Dell um, cheap, crappy laser mouse. Um, but I figured I'd buy uh, some cheap ones and give it a shot. So uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, Vic Singh, Vegku, and uh, HC Man, which looks a lot like the Red Dragon shell, actually. Um, based on the picture there, you can see it's a. Uh, let me get these in frame. Yeah, kind of similar. Like some of the molding is the same. Maybe mirrored. Um, Interesting. Alright, so uh, I need to, I got my trusty Intel SSD to uh, break the tape here. At least it's good for something. Alright. We got some paper that can go into a landfill and uh, foam, cheap foam, that'll go into the box and right off the bat it's a bigger mouse which is good uh, that's kinda what I wanted um, looks like all the buttons are the same, it's kinda glossy and uh, it doesn't have a weight port in the bottom. My Red Dragon had a weight port where uh, you could put weights. Um, I prefer kind of a heavier mouse, you know, a little bit of... I guess it glides okay though. Um, those of you guys with uh, FPS, a little bit of weight goes a long way. You get a much steadier aim. Um, braided USB cable. And hopefully this doesn't have that annoying DPI adjust. I like to set my sensitivity and leave it. I'm sure uh, a lot of you feel the same way. All right, that's the HC man onto Vegku, which sounds like a medical condition. Okay, another big mouse. Uh, this one's actually wireless. I don't know if you can see that. 2.4 gigahertz wireless optical mouse. Off, on, and light. And this must be the, yeah, it's a little receiver. Um, all right, let me get this garbage out of the way. Never been one for uh, reading the directions. We'll figure it out. Um, so it's got a micro USB charging cable. That'd be a lot cooler if it was USB-C. But uh, there's a charging port there on the bottom of the mouse. A um, couple thumb buttons. Really nice scroll wheel. I like that. It's like uh, machined metal. Um, that's kind of a weird logo. Gaze? Guys? Gaius? That's uh, not the brand. The brand said this was uh, Vegco. Vegco. B E G. I don't know. So that's interesting. Um, kind of a unique design, I guess. In the logo, at least. I don't know. It kind of looks like a transformer. Oh, my helper's here. 
All right, let me get this dongle back in there. Uh, that's interesting. I wonder if that opens up so I can put batteries in it. I would assume, but you never really know, right? Um, that might be cool though, because uh, like I said, I prefer a heavier mouse. A couple double A's will go a long way with the uh, weights in that. All right, last one here, Vict Singh. Um, oh man, look at this. The king with the, a freaking CD drive, or a little uh, mini CD. I'm gonna put that on my GameCube. There's also some garbage in the box, but we don't care about that. Um, bubble wrap, not quite as nice as the uh, foam, but hey, what are you gonna do? It's like 10 bucks. Um, all right, so it's the usual. You got a button in the middle, two on the side, and then your left click, right click. Nice scroll wheel. Um, man, I'm not sure. Between the three of them here? I'm not sure. Which is my favorite yet. I mean, obviously, we gotta plug them in. Um, maybe I'll jump cut to that. They all got that middle button. I assume that's like a DPI button. People seem to think that you need to adjust your DPI on the fly. Um, this one, the, the one that looks like a Red Dragon clone, which I know Red Dragon's probably just a clone of something else, but... Uh, I think that might be the biggest mouse, like the widest. And it's also got this red button up here that's really cool. I can map that to uh, some kind of macro or something. I would imagine that they would at least let me do that. And that's probably your forward, backward. Same on the side here, forward, backward. Forward, backward. For expedient web browsing. Yeah, it even says DPI right there. I didn't notice that. That's kind of weird. This one's a lot longer in the hand. I mean, it, it kind of elevates the wrist at the back there. So you're not quite... I don't know, it's got really soft clicks there. Really quiet. We'll have to give all three of them a shot. So the first one here, the Vix Sing, I guess that was like the third that I opened, but that doesn't matter. That's got, um, looks like it's a breathing color cycle. Um, and plug and play, of course, we live in uh, the future, so no more device drivers, it should just work. Um, I wonder if this, uh, Gaius, if this um, has integrated rechargeable batteries, or if I can put my own rechargeables in there, that'd be kind of cool, if I could take it apart. I mean, I can take it apart, and it's a question of whether or not it'll go back together. Okay, so glowing blue. Um... What if I click that on? Will it just work through USB? No. That means very little to me. Alright, I'm gonna plug in a little Wi Fi adapter essentially, 2.4 gigahertz. I guess Wi Fi or Bluetooth or whatever standard that is. Uh, okay, that works right off the bat, too. Uh, again, very soft click, um, which is very cool. I'm a fan of that, how, how silent it is. It, it feels very, uh, not mushy, because there's a definite click when you press it down, 
but it's very muted. Um, so that's cool. Uh, the last one here, the HC Man T60, uh, that I've been calling a Red Dragon clone. Maybe they're the ones that came up with it first. Who knows? Oh, that's bright. I just blinded myself. Okay, so that's working right off the bat, too. Um, I'm not going to go into, like, sensitivity settings or anything like that. I, you know, that's all up to you and how you configure it and everything. Uh, as far as the number of sheer knockable buttons. Okay, so the <clears throat> the Red Dragon does have a DPI setting there. You can see it changing colors. Um, or HC Man. I think it said Red Dragon. Um, in the Red Dragon, they had this really crappy software that you could go in and set profiles for DPI settings. Um, I don't know why you want to adjust your DPI on the fly, but uh, it was always a pain if it decided randomly to change the profile on me because I launched a game or something. Um, you're probably best off going in and setting in the mouse software, setting it as low as possible, and then adjusting the DPI within, or not the DPI, the cursor speed in Windows, so that your image sensor, which is tracking the movement of the mouse, is uh, as low sensitivity as possible and then just have Windows compensate for uh, how slowly the mouse moves in the software. Um, or maybe it's the opposite, who knows? I'm not an expert. Uh, yeah, so this thing looks like it does the same thing. It's probably got... Let's see, there's blue and pink. Uh, I'm not really noticing a difference in DPI there. Oh, that's weird. It flashes pink. Oh, wait. One. Two. Three. Okay. So, that, yeah, that's DPI settings. That is... Uh, Maybe less annoying. I feel like that's a very small button where uh, this one, you know, your middle finger kind of rests over it. Uh, not bad. Not bad. Uh, crap, I forgot which one this was. Let's see. Vic Singh, we've got an HC man, we've got. So that means this one, the guys. I guess that's what that is, guys. Uh, is the Vegco. Veg I'm gonna like. Oh man. This is great. My dear, thank you for bringing me home. Have I met your expectation? <laughs> no, you're an object! <laughs> uh, we have fun. Um, the Vixen. I don't know. It feels like a cheap mouse. It's very plasticky. I mean, they're all they're all pretty cheap. But I think the the guys one is probably the one that I'm gonna set up and use this week. Um, so uh, if you've got any questions or comments, uh, let me know. I'll leave uh, links to all three of these in the description. They're not affiliate links, they're just regular old Amazon links. Um, yeah, that's it.